this is face hospital in a toilet. Water is life. 60% of the human body consists of water. What happens when that water level decreases? Fatigue, stress, confusion, organ damage, problems? We don't ever want to see up in space. Here on Earth, a study shows that 75% of Americans are chronically dehydrated. Presently, there exists no solution for a non-invasive way of monitoring hydration. On the International Space Station, hydration is monitored as a function of water intake. And that too in the form of a questionnaire that the astronauts have to fill up themselves. Our team, Space Hospitals and Toilet, has come up with a solution to monitor the body's actual response to fluid intake. We have developed a non-contact, non-invasive, and complete method to not only monitor the hydration level, but also a recommendation system for immediate feedback to the user. The, the way that our system works is through the use of a color sensor embedded in the space toilet. A microcontroller then forwards that data wirelessly to the user's smartphone. The user's smartphone, keeping a history of user data, pulled from an open EMR server, is then able to quantify hydration level and provide a recommendation on how much water to drink. Here's a working demo of our creation this weekend. Here we have, uh, here we have one of the urine tracks of uh, the urine tube of the space toilet as a water containing data rate. The app receives the color values, quantifies the hydration level, and then you can send it back to the open EMR server. And you can also take a look at the history of all your uh, past uh, urine history. And this is measuring performance in terms of hydration level. This is how we actually did it. We use an Arduino interfacing between the color sensor and the Bluetooth. The color sensor also requires